Hi, it's Mike at 18 Reasons. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, a fabulous protein. It is sustainable. It is inexpensive. It's found in cuisines around the world. It is a favorite, and it is delicious and nutritious. It's got a little bit of a PR problem. We're going to work on that today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to clean a squid. So this was marketed as a fresh jumbo squid, um, never frozen. It comes in and there's a couple features. Uh, it's got a skin on the outside. It's got a body, a tube, or a hood. It's got a head with tentacles. In those tentacles, there are typically two that are extra long. Those two that are extra long are used to grab hold of prey um, at a distance. Uh, in really refined applications, these are often removed. I do occasionally trim them. They tend to be a little bit tougher, but no, nothing to speak of. And cleaning is really kind of simple. And uh, there's some chuckles and some fun involved in it. So we're going to start off by grabbing hold of the back, the tube, the hood, and reaching in and just gently pulling. gently to remove most of the guts. Now I felt it give on the way out there so we may have lost the ink, ink sac. We will find out. But right now we have the head and the majority of the guts out of the squid which is a good start. And so the next step is to go just in front of the eye here are the two eyes. We're going to cut through the tentacles right there and pop the ink sac. I just found the ink sac. Good news. Um, if you can preserve that, you can use it to color rice or pasta with. It's got a kind of delicate kind of saline or, or salty flavor to it. And then here in the center of all the tentacles, is the beak. It is a hard, almost bird-like mouthpiece that you need to pop out. And it does just pop right out, leaving the hole where it used to be. This needs to be discarded. It is far too tough to eat. And then on larger batches like this, I'm going to cut these tentacles down. Um, Basic rule of cooking a squid is to cook it for a minute or cook it for an hour. Nothing in between. If you overcook squid, it definitely gets tough. And it stays tough unless you cook it for a great length of time when it gets tender again. Um, I think squid is about the only protein I know of that you can fix if you accidentally overcook it. If you go even farther, you can fix it by continuing to cook. Now here at the top, you'll notice that there's a little pointed bit on the hood. And that point indicates where the quill is. This beast has something of a backbone. And it's a transparent piece of like cartilage, it looks like plastic. And if you're fortunate, you should be able to pull it out. To, okay, we'll try one more time. I mean, it's coming out, it's right there. Did you grab hold of that piece of plastic and pull out? My quill, half of it came out, the other half is still stuck inside, but there we go. And with that removed, we're now going to squeeze out what's left of the guts. I'm going to do that in this bowl of water here. Just going to kind of push out and go in with my fingers and wash out the inside of the tube. Get any guts that didn't come out with the first pull. 
and remove those. And take, get rid of this quill. It is clear. If you're not careful, it ends up cropping up places you don't want it to be. I'm going to take the back of my knife and just kind of push out the last of the little bits of guts here and we'll clean that off. And from there, um, you could at this point cut it into rings. There's nothing wrong with the skin on a squid. Um, it turns a dark, beautiful purple color if you cook it from here. More often than not, because the skin is a little bit tough, um, on more refined presentations, the squid skin is removed. It's edible, but it's tough. So we're going to just take, and you can grab it relatively easily, and it's a pretty simple process to just pull it away from the tube or the hood. Just like that. And that leaves you with a beautiful kind of pearly white piece of pure, delicious protein. And this protein has kind of a unique feature. I don't know of another protein like it. Um, you either cook squid for seconds maybe 45 seconds at minute at most, or you cook it for an hour and nothing in between. So for if you just briefly saute this or deep fry it for under a minute, it will be delicious and it will be tender and absolutely fabulous. But if you cook it for more than that minute, it turns tough and rubbery. What makes squid unique is that there's an option. It's the only protein I know of that if you overcook it, you can fix by cooking it some more. So if you cook it for two or three minutes and you find it's gotten tough, if you just continue cooking for an additional hour, you will have tender squid again. It gives you two chances. So I'm just gonna cut these little wings right off. They come off very easily. The wings have a bit of cartilage or bone right next to the tube, and that bone is very tough. Again, I have at times in my career um, cut these wings into very thin strips and fried them, but I think for today we'll discard that and just pull the last of this skin off. Give it a quick dunk and a rinse. And there is a perfect tube ready to be stuffed or cut into rings. We have a pile of tentacles ready to be dredged in rice flour and deep fried. And that is cleaning a squid. It's, it's not difficult. It's kind of fun. It's worth an afternoon and Again, it's a very delicious, sustainable um, seafood. This is Mike at 18 Reasons. Let's cook together.